Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, tonight I'm making what I get asked to make at least once a week in my house, shrimp pasta. All right, really good, simple to make, just a few ingredients. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and show you what we need. All right, we've got a pound of linguine. I like using linguine noodles. To me, they cook better in the uh, in this pot. All right, shrimp. Even though we live on the Gulf Coast, we have access to fresh shrimp. Uh, these little one pound bags of you know, the smaller shrimp are great for gumbo, stews, pasta, stuff like this. So I've got a, got a bag of frozen shrimp that we're going to thaw. All right. I've got a stick of butter. I've got five cloves of garlic that I'm going to mince. Four cups of chicken broth and some half and half, or you can use heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to top it with some parsley and some, and some uh, parsley cheese. So again, just a few ingredients. It's going to come out real good. It's going to be really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the saute function. And I'm gonna add almost a whole stick. And I'm gonna say two tablespoons for when I cook the pasta. So six tablespoons is going in to melt. And then while it's melting, I'm gonna put in my, uh, I'm gonna mince my garlic, put that in there. That's for the shrimp. Okay, we'll see you on a few. All right, so I turned on the saute function and I added the six ounces uh, or six tablespoons of, of the butter. And I'm saving the last two for, for the linguine. All right, so I've got my. My five cloves of garlic minced up and in there. Just want to get that good and mixed up in that butter. That smell, boy, that smells good. All right, so now I got my shrimp. <sighs> my shrimp is thawed, and look, these are the perfect, perfectly sized little shrimp for what we're using it for. So those are going in there. Now you want to watch the shrimp. They don't take long to cook, and you never want to pressure cook them. So we're just going to saute them in this butter and garlic until they turn pink. And that's only gonna take a couple minutes. Uh, so yes, all you're looking for is for them to turn pink. All right, so they turn pink, and we'll take those out, put them aside, and we'll get back to the rest of the recipe. All right, see you on a few. All right, so we cooked the shrimp down in the butter and the garlic mixture, and we'll saute function for about two minutes, and this is how they come out. That's what they want to look like, just pink. Mm. All right, doesn't take long. All right, so we'll put those aside. All right, so I, I turned the salty function off, and I've got my linguine pasta. And I just like linguine pasta better than using spaghetti because I think it cooks better in the instant pot and doesn't, it doesn't clump. So, of course, you have to break it in half to make it fit. And you kind of put it in a kind of a crisscross manner. All right, got my four cups of chicken broth. You can use water if you want, or you can use half broth, half water, or whatever. Just four cups of liquid. That goes in on top of the linguine. All right, and then you just want to make sure that all the noodles are wet. So press them down into that into that broth. And make sure they're all wet. You can hear someone having to crack, but yeah. All right, so. Take those two stable tablespoons of butter that you used that you cut off the stick. Those go on top. Make sure you peel all this because I have cooked before and then I've, the wrapper was still in there. So make sure that's all off. All right. The lid on the seal, hit the manual button or the pressure button, whatever is on your model, and bring it up to oops, seven minutes. We'll be back. Cooked seven minutes on high pressure and then a quick release and the noodles came out perfect. But what I did was I turned my saute function on just to basically burn off some of that excess liquid that's in there because we're gonna be adding the cream. We don't want it too, you know, too soggy. So just hit the saute function. And again, it's only gonna take you a few minutes to get some of that excess moisture out of there. And uh, then we're gonna add our, our cream and our, and our uh, shrimp. So all right, give me a minute, we'll be back. All right, again, saute the noodles for a few more minutes afterwards to soak up any excess liquid. Now, take your cream or your half and half like we have and just add enough to the consistency of the cream that you like. So, that was about maybe an eighth of a cup. All right, looks good. Creaminess looks good on here. Again, whatever consistency you like as far as the cream goes. Now here you go, Cheryl. 
Ship it back in, mix it all around. Take a quick look at it. Perfect, mm -hmm. simple, easy, not too expensive. Um, so we're gonna top it with some, some Parsi Flex, that's optional, and also some Parmesan Romano, was it a Romano or regular Parmesan, so. All right, we're gonna get eating. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel, Meals Under Pressure. Also, we have a Facebook uh, page, group page called Meals Under Pressure, and we offer a free cookbook. Um, I'll try to add the link to that free cookbook in the, uh, in the description of this video. So well, we're gonna get down to eating, and we will see y'all next time.